There has been a lot of incorrect information shared over the years in reference to the Mayan calendar and what exactly it predicted. Although a number of sources claimed that the end of the calendar indicated an apocalyptic event, the truth of the calendar's accuracy is, regardless, incredibly impressive. A calendar that tracks solar events and cyclical solar eclipses, along with the infamous hieroglyphic book known as the Dresden Codex, in which has now become known as the Lunar Table, documented an 11,959-day cycle, which are subdivided into groups, each of which accurately predicts solar eclipses and other celestial events far into the distant future. What's more, no one knows how old the calendar is, even academically believed to have predated the Mayan civilization, merely adopted due to its incredible insight, with it being even more accurate than modern-day calendars to as much as ten-thousandth of a degree. Of all ancient calendar systems, the Maya and Mesoamerican systems were the most intricate. The calendar used a 20-day month and had two years within our own modern calendar year, known as the 260-day sacred round or Tzolkin. But it also included the 365-day cycle, known to them as the vague year or Hab. The 52-year period of time was to them known as the bundle and meant the same to the Maya as our century does to us. The two calendars would then coincide every 52 years. The reason for this is so far unknown. Although, it must be noted, the Dogon tribe claimed to have been visited by extraterrestrial beings from twin stars near Sirius, a claim astronomically confirmed several decades after this was documented with a celebration taking place every 60 years, which does indeed match a full orbit of these stars, something that, to them, should have been impossible to have known. But I digress. No one is certain how such an unusual calendar came into being. Although the 260-day cycle may tie several celestial events together, with Mars, appearances of Venus, or eclipse seasons all logged as possibilities. It may also represent the interval between conception and the birth of children, used to determine important activities related to the gods. It was undoubtedly believed in, used to name individuals, predict the future, decide on auspicious dates for battles, marriages, and so on. The sacred round is composed of two smaller cycles, with the numbers 1 through 13, coupled with 20 different day names. Each of the day names is represented by a god who carries time across the sky, thus marking the passage of night and day. Some of these being animal gods, with archaeologists pointing out that the sequence of animals matches sequences of the modern zodiac which was also used in many other ancient civilizations worldwide. The question is, where did all this knowledge come from? Or indeed, where did it go? Although it did not predict an apocalypse as many claimed, we find this ancient cyclical calendar highly compelling.